I am participating in lobby today because it is a fantastic opportunity for me to have conversations with the people whose decisions impact the students and the faculty that I work with. Whether you like it or not, most of the decisions that impact schools on a daily basis happen at a policy level somewhere, whether it be at a school board or at the legislature or at the federal government. It's a chance for us to share our stories of what's happening in the classroom. I think often our lawmakers are looking to do good work for kids. They have a good heart, but they don't always know what it's like in the trenches. And so to me, this is an opportunity for us to share those stories. I want to be able to show legislators what my day really looks like <laughs> and what my obligations are to my students. I want them to better understand what I value about public education, what I value and what I need to help my students be successful. So it becomes really important for teachers like me who spend our time in the trenches with the students and living the, the decisions that get made by these people for them to hear our voices, for them to uh, allow us to put stories to the decisions that they're making. So I'm participating in Lobby Day because I'm really passionate about the students that I work with and their mental health. I'm really interested in making sure that our schools have adequate funding to provide all of the supports that we offer to our students. Probably foremost that's on my radar is the shortage of paraprofessionals. I'm most excited to talk to lawmakers about basic respect and fair pay as a young teacher. I'm a science teacher, and it's really important that my students have access to the types of lab equipment and the types of experiences that are going to prepare them to work in today's job market. Too many years of not passing bonds or passing bare bones bonds to build facilities and not keeping up with growth has left us with far inadequate facilities. Too many kids in the rooms, not enough desks, not enough legal space for them, HVAC systems that don't work. I was in a meeting with the Lieutenant Governor earlier and he said that he wants to have professional, motivated educators in the classroom that are teaching his grandchildren. But I think it becomes really important that they know the students in my classroom. They need to know Nick and his passion for science and his interest in going on and becoming an engineer for NASA. They need to know Allie, whose dream was to be a biomechanical engineer once she found out what a biomechanical engineer was. They need to know my students who come from, from backgrounds that bring lots of obstacles into their life that we can overcome through education. I hope that the legislatures hear the real issues that are happening in the classroom and the things that the educators and staff are experiencing and they recognize that we need more support and funding. I know that we're not always going to see eye to eye. I know that there are other issues that maybe stand in the way of us being in full agreement, but being able to empathize with each other and make even a simple connection over location or other people that we know, mutual connections, those can be like valuable relationships. I would love to see this double next year with that many more teachers. I think every teacher should come down here and see what goes on.